just got back from a quick meeting with my own business coach and uh, the tables kind of turned a little bit. I actually got an opportunity to give him some coaching and it was about um, it was about doing videos. He's just started doing videos. His name's Chris Flett from Go CEO. If you get a chance, check him out. He's on LinkedIn and, and he's got a YouTube channel. He's just started up and he shows, uh, he coaches people on business development. And so he's my coach. And, but I got an opportunity to help him because he's starting to do videos. So anyways, the, the topic came up about be, just being yourself. Like he said, how do you do your videos? You just seem to be natural. I said, well, you just talk like you're talking with somebody else. And I said, the other thing you need to do is you need to swear. Like he needs to swear because when he talks normally, he swears a lot. And that's just his natural way of being. But when he was doing his videos, he's being very regimented about that. I said, just swear, be yourself. And so it got me to thinking about swear words. So what I figured I'd do, and I was thinking I might do it in a three-part series, but I'm not sure yet because I, you know, these videos I do off the cuff. But we're going to talk about accountants swear words. There's swear words for accountants that should be, I think, should be classified as swear words, and these are the ones. So the first group of swear words has to do with uh, the price of your services. Accountants, whenever they say fee or cost. You know, this is how much my, my services cost, or here's the fee. That's negative, okay? Price is what you pay. Value is what you receive. So wherever you can in your vocabulary, when you're talking with a client, never talk about the cost. Never cost. talk about the fee um, or, or the invoice and those sorts of things. Say, here's the price for my services. Here's the price. Price, price is what you pay. Value is what you receive. So that's the first one. Um, the, the second one is um, what I, I've used this too, and it's been pretty bad. It's saying value added services. This drives me up the fucking wall. Like I, I've i I've used it and, I, and I've used it in one of my papers. So don't, I'm not being a hypocrite here, but when you use value added services, when you're, t when you say that to a client, it assumes the basis that you have no value with the services you were providing before. So basically, let's give you some value added. We'd like to give you some value added services. So inherently, the services you gave me before had no value. Like, come on, let's be serious here. It's like saying sugar free or, or, or no sugar added to your pop, like or sugar free. Like, so it's without it. So think about this value added. Don't just don't use it. Don't use value added services. Your services contribute value. All your services do some more value than others. But again, we think that's a time for another video. And, um, and I think the last swear word we'll talk about is how much will this cost? Well, my charge out rate or my billable hour is, I think that's the worst swear word in the world when it comes to accountants is my charge out rate. That is, that should be classified with stealing. It's like worse than a swear word. Instead of billing by the hour, Agree to a price ahead of time with your clients so they know how much they're going to pay. Because when you tell them it's a billable hour, the first thing they think in their head is, oh my God, I hope it doesn't take them very long to do this. They've totally thought, for, forgotten about the value that they're deriving from your services and they've instantly thought about the price sensitivity. They've, you've created a price sensitive client. Again, another video, another full topic. But there you go. Um, so there you go. That was, again, full circle from my meeting with my business coach telling him to be a little more of like himself, just be himself, swear, and brings us back to accountant swear words. And that's, anyways, I think this, I think I can do more. I might have a couple more parts to this one, but I can call this accounting swear words part one. Anyways, um, I'm Eric Solvakin. Wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave me a comment. Let me know of what you think some other accounting swear, other accounting words should be considered as swear words. And stay tuned for more success tips to come.